yesterday when we were um, crowning kindergartners here. You guys remember that? Yeah. Um, palm fest, new construction, all different kinds of things, planting a garden. Um, so now we're here to celebrate all that you built on over the last few years. Um, raise your hand if you've been here since kindergarten. And you're going to all carry that forward and the new friends that you've made as you go on to middle school. So, I think the only way that we can properly celebrate this is to have our student council president come up, Ms. Ryan O'Quinn. Thank you, Mr. Michael. Good afternoon, and welcome to the fifth grade class of 2012 promotion, promotion ceremony at Willard Elementary School. I am very excited to be speaking here today on this special occasion. Today is an important milestone for our 64 fifth grade graduates, our proud parents and families, and dedicated teachers, or maybe I should say relieved teachers. <laughs> today marks the end of our elementary school experience. If you think of it, this is probably the longest time we will spend in one school and probably the last school where every teacher will know all our names. This is very special to us. Most of us entered the Willard School doors at the age of five, not yet knowing how to read and write, add or subtract, or even tie our shoes. Over the past six years, we have grown, worked hard, and accomplished so much. We built bridges and friendships, we received hoots and sometimes referrals. You've given us the foundation to become thinkers and innovators, authors and poets, artists and performers. As we walk out these doors today, we are all thankful for how the Willard community has prepared us for bright futures and visions and taught us not only the required lessons, and who could forget the ISACs, but how each and every one of us is important and can make a difference in the world. I will leave you with a quote from an author you never outgrow. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the person who will decide where to go by Dr. Seuss, all the places you'll go. <coughs> Felicidades a todos los graduos de quinto de la Escuela Primaria de, de 2012. Felicidades también a sus padres y familias. Y por último, felicidades a todos los maestros que nos han ayudado durante todos nuestros años en orden. Sin ellos, no habieron sido, sido posible estar aquí hoy. Millones de gracias. Congratulations to all the 2012 fifth grade Willard Elementary School graduates Congratulations to their parents and families, and finally, congratulations to all the teachers and everyone who helped, who helped us make it here today. Thank you.
Good afternoon. <clears throat> Congratulations. You've reached a milestone. Over the past six years, for most of you, you have seen what it takes to succeed. You have struggled, made mistakes, and obviously learned from those mistakes and turned them into successes as witnessed this afternoon. Continue to be strong, endure, work smart, call on a friend, make learning fun, and if all else fails, check with a parent. <laughs> I'm proud of each and every one of you, and I will miss you. However, it's time for you to move on. Thank you, and thank you to the parents for the privilege of learning with your children. Please hold your applause until all of the graduates have been announced. Thank you. Teddy Mabley. I will make a difference by picking up trash. Jonathan Brown. by not polluting and picking up trash that other people have thrown on the ground and throwing that trash in the recycling bin. Jonathan Mack. I will make a difference by becoming an architect and building homes for the homeless. Hannah Jacobowitz. Helping endangered animals. Joe Meyer. I will make a difference by becoming an engineer and helping other people. Ainsley Burns Jacobson. Helping my doctor find a cure to LCH, a rare blood disorder. Maxine Visa. I will make a difference by helping others around me. Quinn Hobson. I will make a difference by doing good deeds. Hadley Bouchala. I will make a difference by donating food to families who are less fortunate than mine. Lauren Fiedler. I will make a difference by giving everybody clean drinking water. Amanda Rudolph. I will make a difference by helping the environment. Katie Hetzel. I will make a difference by helping hurt or hungry animals in need. James Larbalestier. Recycling and picking up trash. Thomas Newman. I will make a difference by helping others whenever I can. Grace Naquin. I will make
make a difference by always trying my best on everything, even if I don't like it. Kayla <laughs> Tiorantanov. I will make a difference by not wasting electricity or water. Maxwell Wind. I will make a difference by doing community service. Rafael de Gobea. I will make a difference by picking up trash off the ground that other people have thrown on the ground. <laughs> Christopher Guitardi Littell. I will make a difference by using what I have learned to help others to the best of my ability. Jordan Whitaker. I'll make a difference by helping people in need. Paige Garland. I'll make a difference by saving endangered animals. Greta Watercat. I'll make a difference by helping picking up trash around my neighborhood. Heaven Lee. I'll make a difference by helping people in Africa and Haiti. Okay, muy buenas tardes y gracias a todos por haber venido aquí este día tan especial para los niños. Y les voy a pedir un uh, perdoncito porque tengo mi papelito. Normalmente no hablo con papel, pero si no, hablo y hablo y hablo y hablo. Y yo sé que quieren tener la fiesta. Bueno, cuando uh, me recuerdo del primer día de este año escolar, vi ustedes a sus caras y el primero en que está pensando era de el primer día de primer grado. Porque la mayoría de ustedes estaban conmigo en primer grado y en eso estaba yo pensando. Y este primer día, algunos de ustedes estaban... Uh, llorando, algunos querían ir a sus casas, no podían encontrar los zapatos ni los lápices, nadie sabía formarse en una línea recta, bueno, estamos todavía en eso, ¿verdad? Uh, y mientras estoy aquí viéndolos a ustedes, son iguales, bueno, no totalmente, pero sí son iguales, sus caras son iguales, sus personalidades son iguales, uh, pero lo que sí es diferente es que se han convertido ya en niños poderosos, y durante todo este año, todos ustedes han sido líderes en esta Escuela Willard. Si fuera por Mindy ganando el tercer premio en el concurso de poesía, y Tegan, a Vanessa y Fernando también, que recibieron mención honorable. Cuando ustedes enseñaron a todos los demás acerca de cómo cuidar el medio ambiente, a, conservando energía y también de la salud y el bienestar, y qué más, muchas cosas que no puedo mencionarlas todas, pero han sido verdaderamente líderes en esta escuela. Y como han hecho su mejor esfuerzo este año, uh, quiero que sigan así. Y entonces, para cuando van a Haven, espero que, que continúen a ser líderes y a involucrarse. Y no se equivoquen, porque no va a tener que, uh, tendrán que hacer más esfuerzo que aquí en quinto grado, porque yo no voy a estar ahí insistiendo que todos participen. Uh, así que van a tener que levantar la mano, van a tener que apuntarse para formar parte de clubes y uh, cualquier oportunidad que se presente, involúcrense, uh, aunque estén nerviosos, uh, bueno, especialmente si están nerviosos, porque así van a aprender y así van a poder hacer una diferencia uh, en sus vidas y en las vidas de las demás. Y bueno, niños de quinto, mis primeros niños de quinto, uh, niños de sexto, estoy sumamente orgullosa de ustedes, Ah, y voy a estar aquí para que vengan a visitarme y decirme de todos, uh, todos los éxitos que, que tienen. Sí, felicidades. And since we don't have the United Nations translator um, headphones, they didn't come in, um, I will repeat for the benefit of you who didn't understand that last one. 
Um, when I was, well, I was thinking what to say and I, I, about these guys, and um, when I thought about you, I was thinking about first grade, because most of you are in first grade with me. And uh, some of you were, but most of you were, and that's kind of what I was thinking about. And I remember that first day of first grade, and how some of you wanted to go home, some of you were crying, you couldn't find your shoes, you couldn't find your locker, nobody could line up in a straight line. Actually, we're still working on lining up in a straight line. We have one hour left, see if we can do it. Um, but even as I look at you now, you're very similar to those first graders that I knew before. Um, your faces are the same, your personalities are the same, but what's very different now is that you've become powerful. And this whole year, all of you have become leaders in the school, whether it was with Mindy winning third place in the poetry contest, Tegan and Vanessa and Fernando receiving honorable mention, all of you uh, teaching the entire school about the environment and how to conserve energy. Um, we did so many things, it's hard to mention all of them, but reading with uh, younger kids to empower them. You've really taken a leadership role and made Willard a better place, and you've done it in two languages, which is just fabulous. Um, when you go to Haven, I hope that you continue on this road of leadership and involvement and just get involved in things. And you know, don't be fooled because it is going to be a little bit harder. I won't be there to insist that everyone participate. So you're going to have to raise your hand if they ask for volunteers, sign up for clubs, any opportunity that presents itself. Um, even if you're interested just a little bit in it, you should try it because that's the way you're going to grow and that's the way you're going to learn more and make a better difference. Even if you're nervous, you should do that. So anyhow, fifth graders, my first fifth graders. Sixth graders, really, right? I am so, so very proud of all of you. And I will be here waiting to hear about all your stories and all of the adventures that you have uh, at Haven. So congratulations. <laughs> Kayla Lopez, Sigurd. Daniela Roman. I'll make a difference by being a teacher and showing kids who wasn't from their lives. Yo haré una diferencia por ser maestra y que enseñar a los niños que están frente a sus vidas. Vanessa López. Doctor and saving our soldiers. Omar Alcantara. I will make a difference by being a doctor and help people with cancer. Luz Vega. Cassie Tingling. I'll, I'll make a difference by teaching kids how to swim. Paso Rodriguez. I will make a difference by recycling bottles and paper. Aaron Hunter. Dylan Anderson. Yay! <laughs> I will make a difference by helping my parents with extra chores they need to get done. <laughs> <laughs> so we land up. I'll make a difference by donating clothes to children and adults who don't have any. Nina Harders. I will make a difference by 
becoming a doctor and helping people who are really sick and can't afford one. Sign your kiddos. I will make a difference by making sure our earth stays green. Fernando Estema. I'll make a difference by picking up trash. Steve Gustafson. <coughs> I'll make a difference by making good choices. Nate Randall. I will make a difference by helping people in other countries have better lives. Tegan Henke. I will make a difference by becoming a marine biologist and saving marine animals. Mindy Andrade. Alejandro Miranda. I will make it different by being a biologist. Ryan Oakley. I will make a difference by ending hunger in less fortunate countries. What a fantastic year. These guys had a great time from the beginning to the end. We learned a lot. Um, we spent a lot of time talking about serious issues in the world and uh, things we can do to make this a better place. So I'd just like to say that we started out with like simple place value and moved to algebraic expressions. We went from question of the week to expository writing we went from the Museum of Science and Industry all the way to <laughs> Key Lime Cove. <laughs> One of their favorite trips. Uh, we gave you the opportunity to be successful here at Willow, and you've made the most of it. Uh, it was your choice. Some worked a little harder than others, and some took learning a little more seriously than others. But now, you all have to move on to some some new challenges in middle school. So it's time to reflect on what you've done and what you'd like to do a little bit differently in the future. Think about the cumulative effect of reading good books since you've been here at Willard. Who do you think's in a better position? The person who's read 100 books or the person who's read 20? Who do you think's in a better position? The person who agonized over the vocabulary and their writing to make it just right? Or the person who just wanted to get it done? You made these decisions and you made them every day. And over time, they're going to affect your future achievements. So you need to take those things seriously. So think about where you want to go and what you need to do to get there. It's not too soon to make changes that will make you a better person. Because everyone in this room want you to be the best you can be. One day, 25 years from now, you're going to come back here and drive past this school and you're going to go, it all started there. And you're going to want to, you're really, you're really going to be happy with the day you spent here with all So, I'm very happy to promote 21 very capable fifth graders to middle school. Thank you.
pictures. Matthew Wagner. Difference by picking up trash and not littering. Jacob Wilson. I will make a difference by doing everything I can to incorporate more of the arts into our education system. And show. I will make a difference by helping injured animals all around the world. Kiki Hood. I will make a difference by helping end hunger throughout the world. Ella Cantor. I will make a difference by helping kids who are less fortunate than I am. Libby Hudson. I will make a difference by helping to keep our earth healthy and clean. Delaney Brooks. I will make a difference by helping kids with ALL, leukemia, and histiocytosis cancer. Caleb Hart. I will make a difference by saving endangered species of animals like polar bears. My work. I will make a difference by rebuilding houses that have been destroyed by hurricanes. Tommy Barbado. I will make a difference by serving our country as a U.S. Marine. Jordan Lark. I will make a difference by helping the homeless. When I take. by helping find a cure for rare diseases. Max Shepard. I will make a difference by supporting world peace. Julian Guattari Littell. I will make a difference by helping other people whenever I can. Michael Schroeder. I will make a difference by being a veterinarian and helping animals in need. Rachel Rudolph. I will make a difference by donating money to animal shelters. Abby Oster. I will make a difference by helping autistic and disabled children. Sebastian Law. I will make a difference by building homes for needy families all around the world. Star Jackson. Rangers and serving our country. Sean Foster. I will make a difference.
difference by donating lots of money to the Cancer Society. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2012. field trips like Keel and Co, Camp Timberley, and the track meet. Max Shepard. My favorite thing about Willard was all the holiday parties. There were a lot of holiday parties. <laughs> My name is Kayla Park. My favorite thing about Willard is the awesome and fun field trips like Camp Timberley and Keel and Co. And Hunter Boone. My favorite things about Willard were learning Spanish, the Wax Museum, Pioneer Day, and the New Year's Party. Vanessa Lopez. My favorite thing about Willard was the New Year's Party and hanging out with my friends. Hadley Bruchala. 
My favorite thing about Willard is all the nice teachers and the fact that they let me get out of kindergarten. <laughs> Lauren Fiedler. My favorite thing about Willard is getting to know all the teachers. My name is Paige Carlin. My favorite thing about Willard was going to Camp Kimberly. Oh, my favorite thing at Camp Kimberly was getting to see a chinchilla. But it fit me. So. Yeah. <laughs> Your worker. My favorite thing about Willard is being an orchestra. Anna Jago Boris. My favorite thing at Willard was the animal encounter at Camp Kimberly. James Arbalestia. My favorite thing about Willard is Mr. Combs. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about Willard has been I made new friends throughout the years and the New Year's party. It was awesome. My name is Joe Meyer. My favorite thing about Willard is all the teachers are really cool, especially the fourth and fifth grade teachers. Kevin Lee. My favorite thing at Willard is Mr. Gomes because he's a great guy and he's pretty funny. Katie Hetzel. My favorite thing about Willard School is Pioneer Day. Grace Naquin. My favorite thing about Willard was going on field trips with my best friends. Max Wind. My favorite thing about Willard is it allows me to do fun things like band and chorus. Greta Watercock, action. My favorite part of Willard was all the cool teachers. From kindergarten to fifth grade, they were all cool. Alejandro. My favorite thing about Willard is Camp Timberly because uh, I play a wolf pack, I hang out with my friends in the cabin. Thanks to Bernice Jacobson. Action. My favorite thing about Willard was the, all the field trips. My three favorite were Pioneer Days, Modern, Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, and Botanic Garden. Quinn Hobson. My favorite thing about Willard is all the fun field trips. Teddy and Mabley. My favorite thing is Ryan. I write fiction. Amanda Rudolph. My favorite part about Willard was going on field trips and everything and doing fun stuff with my friends, like Camp Timberley and participating in the school play. Bossport Moody. My favorite thing about Willard is Camp Timberley. My name is Jonathan Brown. My favorite thing at Willard is playing the drums in the band and playing the timpani. Raphael de Gouveia. My favorite thing about Willard was being in the geography bee, which I won. <laughs> Maxine Visa. My favorite thing about Willard was um, the teachers. They were great. Nina Hart. My favorite thing at Willard was the Wax Museum because um, we got to learn about like different people that were important to Illinois history. Zoe Lando. Action. My favorite memories from Willard were Pioneer Day, doing the Wax Museum, and learning Spanish. Christopher Guitari Hotel. Action. My favorite thing about Willard was the last day of fourth grade. Jonathan <laughs> Mack. My favorite thing about Willard is all the students at Willard. Thomas Newman. My favorite thing about Willard was the track meet. And I'm fast. <laughs> My favorite thing about Willard was when I did when I went to Camp Timberley and did field trips. Daniela Roman. My favorite thing about Willard were all the field trips and all the nice things we did, but what I really liked about Willard were all the kind people and teachers. Ryan My favorite memory about Willard would be Wax Museum Pioneer Day and reading with our read buddies. Kathy Jingles. My favorite memory about Willard was the Pioneer Day in the Wax Museum. I like both of these because they were very fun to make. Steven Gustafson. My favorite thing about Willard would probably be Kim Kimberly and the New York Party. Luz Vega. Uh, my favorite thing about Willard was um, the New Year's Party because like we could hang out with our friends and be crazy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fernando. 
my favorite thing about Wither is when we were being buddies. My main buddy was Austin. One more My favorite thing about Wither School was that I got to learn more than one language for six years. My favorite thing about Wither was the New Year's New Year party because I was with my friends. That was really cool to be with. Dylan Anderson. My favorite thing about Wither was probably when we went to Cap Timberly and we played with this weird shaped basketball court and we slept in cabins with our friends. But my mom always wants me to make wants me to speak Spanish, but so this is for you mom. Como esta? <laughs> Do we have homework? I left it at home. I did my homework, but I left it at home. Do we have homework today? I left it at home. Oh, I thought that was for Friday. I forgot my books. I left it at home. Can I write it in English? I thought it was due Tuesday. I left it at home. It's in my locker. I promise I'll bring it tomorrow. Can I say it in English? Am I late? Do we have homework? Can I get a hoot for that? Can I get a hoot for that? Can I have a hoot for that? Do I get a hoot if I do that? Can I get a hoot? Can I get a hoot for that? Can I get a hoot for that? Can I get a hoot for that? I got a hoot for you. Can I have a hoot for that? Nine. Please. May I have a hoot for me? You're going to be late for specials. What about Jim? Do I have to? I forgot my shoes. I forgot my gym shoes. But these are my gym shoes. You sleep at school? I already returned it. Do you sleep at school? Oh, Mr. Vicklets is chew gum. Mr. Vicklets is chew gum. Mr. Vicklets is chew gum. Mr. Vick does what? Do you live here? Mr. Mary, do you live here? Yes. Mr. Vic lets us chew gum. Mr. Vic lets us chew gum. Mr. Vic lets us chew gum. You want a piece? I'm not Mr. Vic. Mr. Vic lets us chew gum. Mr. Vic lets us chew gum. You can do that in Mr. Vic's room. No, you cannot chew gum. Mr. Vic lets us chew gum. Go ahead, chew it. I don't care. Why not? He lets us wear hats. Mr. Vic lets you do what? It smells weird in here. Does it smell weird in here? Do you smell that? It smells weird in here. It smells weird in here. 
It smells weird in here. Time for the deodorant talk. Are our book buddies coming today? Are we dancing today? Are we really having a test today? Are we having a test? Are we having a test? Are we gonna have a test today? Are we having a quiz? Are we having a test? Why do we have to learn this? Why are we learning 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 this? Can we go outside and play? I don't know why I was sent to the office. He punched me. I didn't do it. I did it on accident. She made me trip. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. He did it. He did it first. It wasn't me. Oh, well, maybe I did. But he did it first. It was an accident. It's my turn. Can I go to the bathroom? Bathroom? I gotta use it. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I go to the bathroom? It's an emergency. Can I go to the bathroom? Do you smell that? I really gotta go. An emergency this time. Can I go to the bathroom? Really? An emergency. You need to go to the washroom. Can I please get a drink? Can I get water? Can I get a drink of water? Can I get a drink out in the hallway? Can I get a drink? My throat is bothering me. Uh, can I get a drink of water? Thirsty. I need a drink of water. Just one minute. Do we have school tomorrow? No eating in the auditorium. We can eat in the auditorium. There's no eating in the auditorium. Miss Raw, let's also have food in the auditorium. You want a sandwich? Why are we learning things today? It's Friday. But it's Friday. But it's Friday. He budged me. I didn't do it. Can we draw? Can we change seats? Can we change seats? Can we change seats? Can we change seats? Can I sit over there? Does it smell weird in here? Can I go first? When do we go to lunch? Is it lunch time yet? Is it lunch yet? Is it lunch time yet? Why can't we have free time? I was here first. That's not how Miss Galicia did it. Can I be line leader? It smells weird in here. My stomach hurts. When do we get to have a pizza party? Can we have a pizza party? Can we have a pizza party? Are you and Miss Schroer sisters? Are you and Miss Goldwyn sisters? Can we have a pizza party? Can we have a pizza party? When's the field trip? Can I take it home? Yes, we are sisters. Alright, so if you want to make your way down the front stairs out front.